is the restrainer the Holy Spirit? Because that's what pre-trip teaches. That the restrainer is the Holy Spirit. That when the Holy Spirit in us, in the people of God, is taken, then the Antichrist will come in. Because the Holy Spirit in us is the restrainer, is restraining the Antichrist. He, he, the Antichrist cannot come because the church is here. Once the church is gone, then the Antichrist can come in. Because the Holy Spirit in us is the, is the restrainer that the Apostle Paul speaks about. Well, is there a scripture that says that? There is no scripture that says that. Do we know who the restrainer is? Yes, we do. How do we know that? Because the, the writer of the book of Thessalonians, this epistle of um, Thessalonians, the writer told us who the restrainer is. And we'll go into that so that you as a child of God, you know for yourself from it is written so that you will position yourself as it was in the days of Noah to go forward in power, in filled with power, filled with joy. I'm talking about doing exploits. Those that know God in these days are going to do exploits because they know who they are and whose they are. They are walking in their destiny and they're fulfilling that end time destiny because they are the sons of the Most High God and they know it is written. They don't follow the teachings of men like I did for 40 years. And I deceived the people of God because I was following the great theologians, the great books by PhDs. I believed in them. I trusted them and they misled me. When I returned to the, it is written, I found the truth and the truth sets us free. Because scripture interprets scripture. Is the, the Holy Spirit the restrainer? If he is the restrainer, then the church must be taken out before the Antichrist can appear. What does the Bible say? The most important thing is what the Bible says. We are going to look as we've been going through the scriptures. We're looking at what scripture says regarding all these things that I've been preaching for 40 years. That God stopped me and said, let scripture interpret scripture. You don't need all these books. This is library of eschatology. Because that's mean. My Holy Spirit will teach you. Will show you from scripture. And I want to show you from scripture. Let's read together. From the book of 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 2, 3 to 10. Where the whole issue of the restrainer is laid out by the Apostle Paul. He lays out the events that will take place before he comes, before Jesus comes back. Because the people of God must be informed, equipped, and prepared for these days. Let no man deceive you by any means. Deception is anything other than it is written. If you can't find it in scripture, don't buy into it. It's a lie. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except they come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. He's talking about the Antichrist. Who will be revealed after the, the church has been deceived, deceived. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God. All that is which is worshipped. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Showing himself that he is God. Now this is a man that's going to rise on the earth. He is alive and well today. And the false prophet is alive and well today. Both of them are on the world scene right now. Right now they're on the world stage. And the temple is about to be built in Jerusalem. The red heifer has been sent to Jerusalem. The priesthood are, are ready to be cleansed. And the vessels of the temples are ready. And the red heifers have been found here in Texas and sent to Israel. Everything stands ready to build the temple and start sacrifices. And 
The pre-triber say that's a precursor. The red heifer is precursor. The preparation precursor. The temple will be built and they say it's precursor. The Antichrist will enter in the temple. They say it's precursor because we're still here. Everything is precursor until it's too late. The, the threat of global nuclear holocaust here. Everything is happening and you're saying precursor, precursor. It's not a precursor. This is that. We're living in the last days and the church is still here. Because we're going through. And you need to know how to go through. And I'm going to show you that the Holy Spirit is not going away. The Holy Spirit is going to be with us. Because the Holy Spirit is not the restrainer. As the pre-trip teaches. You say, how do you know? Because I taught it for 40 years. Hmm. Then the, the, the Apostle Paul is going to tell us. As a church. Who the restrainer is. Because he's going to say it right here. Remember ye not. That when I was yet with you, I told you these things. So here is something. He is talking about something that he had told them. He didn't want to write in a letter who the restrainer is. He didn't want to write that. Because it was a sensitive issue. Because it had to do with the Roman government. So he went and physically told them who the restrainer is. And the question is. Did they write it down for us? Yes, they did. We know what the apostles said regarding the restrainer. He says, I told you when I was with you. I came over and I told you who the restrainer is. Listen to the next verse. And now you know. You know. He says, when I was with you, I told you. Now you know. You know what? Who the restrainer is. We're going to find out what they said. What the apostle Paul said. They wrote it down for us. We know what the apostle said. Isn't that amazing that most people have never heard that the apostles actually explained these things to their disciples. And their disciples did write these things and tell us what the restrainer is. We don't need new theology out of, McDon out of Margaret McDonald's the theology of deception and lies. Jezebelic. We don't need that. We need to go back to, to the founding fathers, to the, to the very scriptures, to the apostles, to find out what they said. He says, I told you. So we know what they, they were told by the apostle Paul. We're going to go back there. We're going to tell you what they said because it's available. Now they're trying to hide everything because they know that the apostle Paul didn't talk about a pre trip rapture. He didn't say the Holy Spirit was the restrainer. And they know all these theologians know this. All these theologians know this. That the Apostle Paul had told them who the restrainer is. And I'm going to tell you who the restrainer is according to the words of the apostles themselves. And you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So he says, I told you when I was with you who, who it is. What did he say to them? Who did he say it was? Because if we know. Who it is, then we know what to look for. Because here he is explaining the Antichrist is coming. This is what's going to happen. There is something that is holding him back. And he tells us what the Antichrist is going to do. I'll read a few more verses, then I'll explain. Because it's going to become more clear. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall smite, shall consume with the, with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is, is, is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and wonders. That is the Antichrist who is coming. But he is being held back. And what was holding him back from the time of the apostles is told to the body of Christ by the apostle Paul. But he couldn't write this. He entrusted that to his disciples who kept it for us because we need that today more than ever before. What was the restrainer according to the apostle Paul and his disciples? What he said. 
He said that Rome, imperial Rome, was the restrainer. Imperial Rome was the restrainer. Stopping the Antichrist from revealing himself. Now, let's wait right there. How would Imperial Rome stop the Antichrist from revealing himself? Follow me now. There is one place on the face of the earth. Only one place on this planet that God chose and put his name on Mount Moriah. Here is where Solomon built the first temple. And the glory of God came. Here is the place where they build the second temple. And Jesus himself physically was in that temple. At the feast of dedication. At the feast of Hanukkah. He was there. And that's why he said, I am the light of the world. At the feast of lights. The feast of dedication. He was in the, in the second temple. God came to the first temple. He came to the second temple. He's coming to the third temple. Now, Paul says, Rome is the thing that's blocking, is stopping the manifestation of the Antichrist. Why? Because the Antichrist must have a temple in Jerusalem on Temple Mount. There is not a place on the face of the earth that the Antichrist will be revealed except in Jerusalem, on Temple Mount, in the temple. As long as Rome is stopping the Jews from going back and building the temple, the Antichrist will not appear on the earth. That's why I said Rome is the restrainer, is restraining the Jews from returning prematurely. And building the temple prematurely. So that the Antichrist will enter that temple and manifest himself. That is scripture. That is what the Apostle Paul said. It is the, it is the Jews that want to go back. They went back in, in 132. Balkova. Revolt. Went back to try to build the temple. Between 132 and 135 AD. And Emperor Hadrian. Stop them, slaughter them, because it was prematurely, because they are the restrainer. They are restraining the building of the temple. Because as long as there is no temple, there is no Antichrist. We know that it has to do with a geography. It has to do with a location. It has to do with a building on the planet. The only place the Antichrist will enter in and sit in the, in the temple of God and declare himself God. The only place, not in London. Not in New York, not in Washington, D.C., but in Jerusalem on Temple Mount. That is scripture. Therefore, those who teach people that the restrainer is the Holy Spirit, they are lying to the people of God. They are deceiving the people of God. It's not what scripture says. It's time to return to scripture and humble ourselves. It's the general consensus that mystery, the key word is mystery, Babylon in the book of Revelation is Rome. And when Paul refers to the mystery of iniquity, who is holding back, as this gentleman has been talking about, it is tying in with the book of Revelation, the mystery Babylon. Paul says the mystery of iniquity. It's Rome. So what this means is that there's nothing that is holding the Antichrist back from being revealed except for God's timing. And also the falling away of the church. And some could argue that that has actually already happened.